Now, I wasn't going to start the show off this way. But the father of Cash, Trevor, a lot of people been wanting to know what's going on with him. A lot of people been wanting to know where, he, um, where he's at. Now, he actually came out with a video. I guess pretty much telling you his side of the story and why he done the things that he's done. He pretty much confirms what my source told me that I told y'all a couple videos ago. Now we gonna take a we gonna take a listen to his video. We gonna take a listen, and I want y'all to pay close attention. And also, this show that I'm doing this evening is really for y'all. I really want to speak to y'all. I really want to see what y'all thoughts is on the case, what your opinions are, what you think may or may not have happened. So this show is really for y'all. I hope that y'all not being shy tonight. And I hope y'all decide to come on the show. The link to come on the show should be in the chat area. But we about to go ahead and quickly listen to what Trevor, which is the father of Cash, had to say. Madness. Hello, my name is Trevor Gernon. I'm the father of Cash Gernon and Carter Gernon. I understand that all of you have questions and I would like to take a moment to address the public. First, let me say that I do not wish this nightmare on any parent. You have no idea how hard it has been for all of us or how hard it is to hold it together while everyone picks your family apart, family turning on another, all attention and time should be reserved for cash. I want to thank you all for being so compassionate and motivated for justice. It is comforting to know that so many of you feel this loss too. So I will start by clarifying my absence. I knew Monica for a good few years before moving to the Dallas area. She was a single parent like me, so naturally I would ask her advice on local things. At the end of February, beginning of March, Monica offered her home and help, which I was thankful for. Being a single dad with twin four-year-olds can be overwhelming from time to time. When I decided to move back to Houston after an uns unsuccessful job hunt, amongst other things, I felt it was in the boys' best interest to not disrupt their routine. They were comfortable. They were around other kids, and from what it appeared, Monica was a trustworthy person. This choice I made with best of intentions has resulted in the most horrific outcome. I have paid the most ultimate and painful of price for my poor judgment, and I have to live with this devastation every single day. I will never forgive myself. If I could, I'd go back and do everything different. This is a nightmare that doesn't go away once I open my eyes in the morning. <clears throat> Sorry. We just don't understand how this could happen to such a bright and cheerful kid. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying. I understand how Mindy and Connie could be upset and want to do and say things to me because he was in my care. If it had happened in her care, I'd unfortunately feel she held responsibly too. When you have to process and comprehend such violent tragedy, our grief blames others. It blames ourselves. Mindy, I am so sorry that I failed to keep him safe. That is my job as a, as a dad. And I was not able to do that. <laughs> and I'm sorry. To make matters worse, I have to fear for my freedom, as it is the goal of some to see me go to jail rather than grieve the loss of my little boy. All I want to do is have that one thing every parent deserves, to say goodbye and be with my son one last time before I return him home. <laughs> I wish I could give you all of the answers, but I don't have all of them. I'm barely getting through a day that doesn't take me to a dark place. I miss my son, 
I miss my kids. I hope you all can understand how fragile we all are and quickly and how quickly things can turn upside down. It makes you wish you spent more time. I'm sure that throughout this situation, there will be a lot of less than favorable things said and speculations towards everyone involved. I would hope that we can all cooperate and band together to make sure Cash gets the justice he deserves. He deserves to see us all united, the strong, loving family that we are. Thank you for all of your support and care, and thank you all for allowing me the opportunity to get my voice heard. Well, there you have it. That's what the father had to say about the situation. He gave his reasons for why he left the boys with Monica. He tried to take you into his world, tried to tell you what he was going through. 